Good morning. My name is Ron Partain. I'm a pharmacist. I'm board certified as a clinical nutritionist and I've been doing nutrition things since probably about 1986. And over the, the time period of doing that, I've worked with, with uh, chelation products um, often, ma many things. Uh, some of them I worked on and personally uh, put some you know, products together for people. But I'm, I, I have a list of questions here. Rather than try to present something, I want to say uh, I got probably maybe six or eight questions that are questions I've been asking for and seem to be questions that come up over and over. So I'm going to talk a little bit about those. So I don't have a prepared uh, you know, presentation here. I'm just going to kind of talk off the cuff. Um, what is uh, good about chelation cream, using a chelation cream. Well, as a pharmacist and as a nutritionist, I over the years I've seen people all the time, all the time, all the time. And I can tell you, we can we can talk all the theory we want to talk and we can talk this and we can talk that. We can everybody smart talk about it. But what 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 it really means something is when the guy leaves your business, leaves your pharmacy and goes home on Monday, what is he going to be able to do? It has to be something that's simple and easy to do. So I can tell you in my years of doing this, this is a wonderful, easy product to use, this cream. This is wonderful. The other thing I say to, to, to moms, and moms are the ones that I talk to a lot because they seem to be the doctor in the family. Um, they're the ones that are you know, you know, taking care of the kids and getting everybody to the doctor and getting medicines and that sort of thing. And I say, mom, you know, this is easy. You can use this chelation cream on your children. You're putting them to bed, put a little bit on them you know, on their legs. Uh, you can lower the dose since it's cream. You, you're not in a fixed dose. You can give a little bit of that cream or you can give a lot of the cream. If somebody like myself, I use quite a bit of it, but you don't have to do that. So this is easy to use. It's effective. We have several people and one of, one of our doctor friends in Chicago did a, a, a test on himself. He wanted to know, is this effective? So he did a test on himself and kind of get to the bottom line. He proved it works, and we have some of our, uh, you know, some of our staff that maybe had no, no idea about chelation and never had any uh, proof of it. I have over the years, probably 30 years, I've been dealing with chelation and knows that it works. But here's people that actually saw the test results, saw the lab reports before, what the person's lab values were. They used the chelation cream. They used it. They used it for a couple of months. They tested themselves again, and these numbers were less than these numbers. It shows that, that this chelation was taking things out of the body. Now, another part of that is, um, if you understand it, and I, I'm not saying you should, but if you understand chelation therapy, chelation is one of those things that just grabs stuff. And it has a penchant for, for metals. Now, again, if you know a little bit about this, there's a lot of metals in our body that we should keep in our body. One of them is magnesium, zinc, copper, uh, many different ones we should keep in the body because they're part of enzyme substance that make the body go. So chelation will remove some of those as well as arsenic. So what do we do? We want to be sure that we replace those on a, on a, on a daily basis when you're using chelation. Um, hot, it's, it's, it's easy to use, as I mentioned. You, you, know, you can just squirt some on somebody and rub it in. It's easy to use. Um, and, and you can just, you know, do it when you're putting the kids to bed, when you're giving them, you know, they're, they're, they're uh, uh, you know, putting on their pajamas or whatever. How long shall we use this medication? Well, use it as forever. And you can cycle it. We think it's a good idea to cycle it. So you can start maybe initially. You can uh, use it more often. Uh, then it, later on, you can use it less often. And then maybe on the maintenance phase, you can just use it like well, a couple times a week. So you can do, customize this to however you want to do it. But the idea is you're going to be using something like this, this chelation cream, forever, for a long time. That's just like your nightly, you know, brushing your teeth, or that's like your, your nightly whatever you're doing. Uh, and, and so, yeah, you're going to get the, the results, and you're going to use it forever, okay? Uh, again, I mentioned do you need to add a multi-mineral while using detoxic cream, and also because what we want to do is keep the body moving, keep the, uh, the, the flow of fluids through the body, we want to be sure you're drinking a good amount of water. Just drink more water. And what I would recommend, you, you drink the water in the morning, 
you can do it at bedtime. There's nothing wrong with that. And if you remember right from your history, if you're kind of a detox buff, <clears throat> when does the body detox? The body detoxes between 11 o'clock at night and about 10 or 11 o'clock in the morning. So it, it's okay. If you don't mind getting up to pee, then I recommend you take a big 12 to, to 18 ounces or 16 ounces of, bed, of water at bedtime. Or if you get up during the night and you have to pee, take some more water. You can do that. Um, and this is something you need, uh, again, do, do I need to do this multiple times or can I just do it just once? No, you need to do it all the time. And the why that is, is because you're exposed to these metals all the time. It's in our environment. Can you do some things to reduce that exposure? Yeah. You know, one of the things you can do, believe it or not, I know this sounds kind of drastic, but if you live near a freeway, you need to do your best to move away from the freeway. Get away from there and get away from places. Look around in some of these industrial areas. If you're downwind from some of these areas, you need to do your best to move, move out of those areas. Stay someplace where, the, where you, you, know, you have a lot of wind blowing. We live, I, I live in a place and grew up in a place where the wind blows all the time. In fact, they used to call it Blumont. People used to, oh gosh, you live in Blumont. Well, I can tell you that the good thing about living in Blumont is because the wind is always coming. It's always moving the air. The air is never stagnant. You've got all these things that are in the air and the air moves those things out and we send them to the people in other states. <laughs> but yeah, you need to keep it. Um, the thing I would say just to kind of keep in mind is this easy to use, not a big deal. It comes in a, in a tube or, or something like this, you can use it like that. Um, it's effective and it's safe for you know, just about anybody. So you say, well, how young? I, you know, I would say probably the age of five, something like that. But you can, uh, you can minimize the dose. The thing too, if you're concerned about thinking about EDTA being something that you might not want to give somebody, look at all the foods you're eating. Look at the foods and the things that you pick up at the grocery store that are for your kids. You take a look at that label, and you know what that label says? EDTA is in those, those products. What are they in there for? It's in there for, for balancing and, and keeping um, the pH right. It's in there for um, antioxidant benefits. It's in there as a stabilizer. So it has a lot of uses. Um, one of the questions I ask is, you know, a person may say, you know, is this going to help my cardiovascular function? We believe it will. We believe it will because it's going to improve the inside of the blood vessels. The more healthy those inside of the blood vessels are, then the more they function naturally and the healthier it's going to be. So, uh, you know, one, one of the things that we, I've heard many, many, many times over the years of, of talking to men about this, and not every guy does this, but I've heard enough of it, you know, probably 30, 40% of the time, a guy will come to me kind of off the QT and say, gosh, Ron, you know, he said, uh, I, I woke up this morning, I haven't had an erection in the morning in years. I woke up this morning with an erection. Well, we know that. And one of the things that we know, and um, people that do natural kind of medicine know, that ha having good cardiovascular function to, dem to be demonstrated by having uh, erections in the morning or other time of the day on demand or whatever, but if you have good erections, we know that's like the canary in the, in, in the coal mine. Because we know that if you have good function in, in the pelvic girdle and you have good firm erections, we know that that translates to your whole body. You have cardiovascular, better cardiovascular health throughout your whole body when you have good function in the pelvic girdle. There's three or four different areas that's kind of separate in the body, but that's it. That's a very good one. Um, the other thing we might talk about maybe another time would be progesterone. We're going to uh, be dealing with that, but we'll, we'll talk about that later. So thank you. Hope this has been a help to you.